what's up guys quick update on Bitcoin it looks like we are falling a little bit more down to this 64k level where there is a lot of support I, I you know I kind of said that you know don't be surprised if we do get like a, well I didn't say don't be surprised but I said it is a possibility we go a little lower and we get a, another red candle close for this week um, either way what I'm seeing on this drop uh, is kind of bullish and whenever this ends I do think we're going up guys um, you know this this always happens where it goes like kind of when I start getting bullish it starts to keep going it keeps dropping or keeps going up if it's like if I'm bearish that's usually the case uh, but I still think this is a accumulation pattern and if you really just look at this drop I mean we're still only like 12% from the high right it's just this sideways action that's gone <laughs> it's just the fact that how long this is taking because this has been like almost four months now that we've been in this range and people are just like they can't take it right um, so you know the people that are patient and holding are the people that are gonna they're in my opinion are gonna win in the end but we are getting to a lot of support here we did end up getting all that liquidity down to 64k so if we look at let's just go to this the liquidity levels real quick um, you know we picked up uh, pretty much the remainder of this 64k level right right here uh, that we picked up this script doesn't show it that well it's just an angle but if you look at it on the coin glass website we pretty much picked up all that liquidity down below and we still have a lot of liquidity up above 70k right and then this is a nice little angle as well where there's not much left down below and there is a lot of liquidity up above I mean this is kinda just what we've been doing like the last five months <laughs> the fact that we're going back down again though is just I think people can't handle it right that everyone is going crazy you could you could you could you could kinda feel it um but you know this is part of crypto you just this is part of crypto you got to deal with these like small swings right uh, you know unfortunately the altcoins are taking a lot of blunt uh, of the impact um but i do think all season is closed i'll show you guys my bitcoin dominance chart after um but anyways there's not much liquidity left below and there's a lot left above right so that's a uh, definitely a bullish signal we know it's if you know this range game has been happening for so long we can pretty much conclude that we're probably going to go up right and and the important thing that i've been talking about over and over is volume which we still there is no volume on this drop here um so if you look at the three let's look at the weekly real quick uh it's not much to see here you know that we've been decre on decreasing volume still guys there's still little volume on this drop this is a bullish indicator we're just back testing this cluster support and these 618s uh, and we're kind of just waiting for this up cross on the three day the two day is probably looking like a double cross up at this point which is a pretty strong indicator the squeeze is getting pretty tight as well at this point on the high time frames guys so you know we just gotta be a little bit more patient I think that move up is uh, eventually going to come and i thought 64k was definitely your bottom point because that's where that liquidity end ended but maybe we'll go a little lower to like 63.5k right um it's really we could all we could see here on the three day so the daily is just very very like this is a very good point to scalp right this looks like some kind of wedge finish here and now we have a td12 on the, on our the side guys this is very bullish contrary bullish indicator this still looks like some kind of wedge very oversold um, and the squeeze is still kind of tight here I would say that you know obviously this point this is probably your fifth it's always hard a little tricky to figure out like exactly where your third and fourth and fifths are here but you kind of look at divergences and where price is at right and it's, it is at massive support as we can see on the volume profile we're getting to massive support here it's actually very technical um, it's just hard to get the exact tops and bottoms right that's why we stay away from leverage at least that's what you know I'm kinda used to this I just I just don't mess with leverage and I just deal with this short term uh, volatility right where it goes a little bit lower than I think usually before it reverses um, I still think that this is some kind of bottom point guys and we're gonna reverse soon I'm gonna go. I'm gonna show you guys some metrics real quick. Um, 
that maybe will make you guys uh, a bit more bullish, right? As everyone in this space is pretty bearish right now. I mean, this just looks like an ABC down, right? That's still what I think. This could be a lot of different things at this point, though. This could be like a WXYXZ. Um, this could just be a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and we're looking for an ABC like that. That's a possibility. Or this could just be a 1, 2. So there's a lot of different possibilities here. Uh, the point is that we have a lot of confluent uh, bottom area right here, in my opinion, right? Also, if you look at the wicks here, uh, I think the wicks are pretty important, just like around. This whole area right here is just a demand zone, I think. Um, so yeah, I'm still leaning bullish on this drop. I'm going to show you guys some other indicators that might get you guys uh, a little bit more bullish. This is on the 8-hour. So the 8-hour broke above a lot of uh, resistance here. Um, but we are back testing this cluster support. I think that's enough for like uh, Bitcoin analysis on medium and uh, high time frames. Let's just go look at some metrics. I think we're just picking up liquidity be below a little bit below this purple line, guys. Golden ratio multiplier. It's definitely done that in the past. I think a lot of times it's done that in the past where it goes a little bit lower than the resistance point or support point just to pick up some liquidity before we reverse. Net funding is going back, uh, going down. Open interest is going down. We did have a little bit of spike, but the overall trend is going down here. This is a bullish indicator. Uh, this is what I've been saying. The volume still hasn't come. Even on this drop right here, guys, there is pretty much no volume. The volatility is going up, but you know there is no volume on this drop. So that that volume has still to come. That the volume right here after breaking out of this trend is pretty much accumulating right here right because it's pretty much at the uh, it's pretty much rock bottomed right the purple line so the volume is pretty much rock bottomed here guys it's accumulating it's very 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 high probability guys that that vertical move that we get is going to be going up right as i've been saying it's just we got to be a little bit more patient i did say like this week and next week is kind of just a survival point and we are at massive support right now but whenever this thing, I think, starts accumulate or bottom or like just going sideways a little bit on these smaller time frames, the next move up should be us going vertical, guys, with the volume that has yet to come. So I would not, you know, get shaken out of all coins right here, especially where they're at right now. Right. That's kind of at this point there's really nothing you can do but hold or, or get in on more. RSI has completely entered this green area, which is, uh, you know, it's pretty much just oversold right now. Uh, the purple line is going down, which is a good, which is a bullish indicator as the price goes down, guys. That's a that's a very that's exactly what you want to see. You want to see the price if the price is going up and the purple line is going up. That means it's getting overheated. If it's going down, the price is going down. That's a bullish indicator. That means we are pretty much just going through deleveraging, right? Especially if the price that's going down is happening on little volume right as as can be shown here so this is definitely a bullish indicator um let's just go look at i think the first thing we should look at real quick is uh <clears throat> the hash ribbons guys this is a very good uh indicator and we have pretty much inverted we have inverted if you look at uh this one this this i added another one right here this is on the one week. So we inverted here, which was a bearish indicator. We started inverting. Now we reverted here, which is a bullish indicator. So we're whenever this bottoms, and then based on other things that I'm looking at, guys, um, this is what I've been saying over and over. Uh, when we rebound and this momentum stops on this on these red candle close, we're literally going to go up. But if you look at the one week here, you know we're pretty much just holding this. Uh, Re previous all-time highest support guys like we've just been bouncing right above it and going sideways this is in my opinion is, cl is a clear accumulation zone even if we go back to the bottom of the range um, either way we kind of just have to hold on here guys I know it sucks but I think that at this point most of you have been here before at least I have I've been here too many times and you just kind of get numb to this <laughs> to this feeling and you got to deal with people's emotions, right? That, that's what makes it difficult is other people's emotions. Um, whereas, you know, the name of the game, in my opinion, is just being patient, guys, as the hash rate drop is kind of starting to invert here, right? So we look at these points right here. Even if we go back all the way in time, right, the price, if you look at this thing right here, the price capitulated. 
then once it reverted we started accumulating right this is all the way back in time guys it's the same thing right it, it uh inverts and then once it reverts it's a bullish signal inverts reverts bullish signal right inverts reverts bullish signal inverts and then it, it reverts right here bullish signal over and over again guys same story right and keep in mind we're in a bull market right now right so when this happens in a bear market it's a you know you could get a really big drop like that right there right but once it reverts it's pretty much always a pretty uh, strong bullish indicator guys like we have just reverted right now right so this is a very strong bullish indicator guys we just gotta pretty much hold on you know all coins are kind of dropping hard which kind of sucks but i think that they're gonna have like a violent rebound as i don't see much volume on the on the drop so we're still keeping an eye on this thing guys um we're kind of at the medium point right there uh right there right so we're still keeping an eye on this metric i still think we have one more leg up to the top of the range uh, i think we had another thing that we had up here i'm just gonna kind of uh re-put it up here uh i think it's that uh, one yeah no it's on that one oh, i think it's the nvt signal yeah so the nvt signal is still going up guys It's still in a uh, in an uptrend. This is still a bullish indicator. So things still look bullish, guys. I would not panic. This I think is in a midpoint like this, and we still have one more leg up, guys. So I do think we're gonna rocket ship still. I think we're gonna go up vertical. Uh, the ETF total net flows is at a bottom point, which is a bullish signal. Um, kind of the opposite of this point, right, where, where the spike up was bearish, right. Um, so I do think there is a rebound coming. This thing is leaning pretty bullish uh, as we were breaking out of this trend line, guys, on the ETF fund flows here, which means that this thing is about to enter an uptrend, and that should be bullish for Bitcoin price, guys. So a lot of things are pointing bullish right now. I would not start panicking, guys. I do think we're going to be entering an uptrend after this. And all coins are just a hold. It's still my stance. You know, let's just look at uh, all coins real quick and then call this video. So the Bitcoin dominance, guys, I think this is the last leg up. It's kind of interesting. I do think Bitcoin's going to bounce hard, right? And all coins are probably just going to go sideways and reaccumulate wherever they're at right now. Most of them are at massive support. Um, so this right here, I still think is some kind of finish. And if you just look at this indicator here, I mean, this is just a very strong reversal indicator. As I've been saying, guys, we have a distribution pattern at the top of the range. Uh, we have three crosses going down as the squeeze is tied. Like I said, I'm pretty sure this is some kind of top point for Bitcoin dominance. And this is like a final shakeout for all coins, guys. Um, this just happens a lot of time. If we're already in big, we kind of just have to hold. Have any capital left over, in my opinion, not financial advice, but you know, you kind of just get in on more. That's at least what I what I would do, right? So this to me still looks like some kind of distribution pattern, guys. As we're getting a third cross down, and this is a definitely a distribution pattern on the two week guys. So this, I do think Bitcoin dominance is topped out, and I do think all coins are going to rebound hard, and I do think Bitcoin is going to bounce hard as well. This looks like one of those wicks below, like a final shakeout type wick, where, where it's just at massive support here, guys. Uh, this is total three over Bitcoin and Ethereum. Um, so yeah, I still think that all season is coming up soon, guys. I think this is like a finale drop where it's at massive support. Um, I think Ethereum is definitely looking like the strongest out of the bunch. Right? And this still looks like a, an accumulation pattern to me for Ethereum. So Ethereum was, you know, it's pretty like out of the bunch. It's a pretty nice hold, right? 
or it was, right? You know, it still has to break out of this trend even, right? Which is pretty much it's going to be gearing up to do right here. Um, as we get a double cross up. So this is a long-term bullish indicator for ETH BTC, right? Bitcoin dominance to me looks topped out. I mean, if you look at Pepe over Doge, this looks like a wedge, guys. I think it looks like Doge is like the king meme is going to outperform uh, the the other uh, meme coins. Still, what I think this looks like some kind of wedge here for Pepe over Doge. This looks like an accumulation pattern right there, right? So if you look at this like a little bit smaller time frame, maybe like three day. This right here, like even. Four day, right? This looks like a distribution pattern as well to kind of confirm that wedge, right? Um, so yeah, I still think that's a wedge for for Pepe over Doge, guys. Um, you know, Doge has gone. Doge is. We want to spend a little bit more time on Doge. I know Doge has done this shakeout thing to twelve cents. I mean, it's really not that much of a drop to be honest. It just went right to support, right? Um, I got bullish at Doge at like 15 cents. I started started making, so it's dropped another 27 percent. This is very volatile, but right now we're at massive support here, guys. So if you just go back in time and look at what Doge has pretty much done over and over, it pretty much just builds this uh, like accumulation type thing, like this, right? And then that's your like support cluster, right? That sometimes on this move up, it kind of didn't go back, go down to retest that area. But if you look at this run up that it had here in 2020, right? That we built up this like accumulation area, right? And then a lot of times it just goes back to kind of retest that area, which it did right here, right? So we had this uh, cluster built up here. It went above, and then it kind of went back to retest that area right there, right? That it held for support, and then it ran up. I mean, it's kind of doing the exact same thing, guys. Right now, Dogecoin looks like a very safe ha haven for, for hold, and that's because of TA, right? It's survived multiple bear markets, and, and there's massive cluster of support right there. That's just built up for such a long time, right? For like literally for like three, four years that it's built this support cluster that it's going back to retest, right? So yeah, it might drop a little lower to like 10 cents even, but either way, like at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter guys, because if we're, if we think that this thing is going to like $2, like I do, you know, whether you, whether you get in right here, whether you got in right here, Right, or whether you got in right there, or whether you're you're really good and you're getting in right here and you have the patience, at the end of the day, this thing is gonna do the same thing and go up to two dollars, right? So this this whole area here is accumulation. It's kind of like an investment investment in my opinion, right? And we are back testing this massive support region right here. Where, you know, most likely if it does what it's done in the past, it will probably accumulate something like this at massive support before it runs up as Bitcoin probably goes up right so this is fully what I'm expecting is it, it to just accumulate like this guys at support massive support as Bitcoin runs up all right and then this, this thing is gonna do its thing right and go up to two dollars and mark my words is still what I think so you put on some indicators here you know, there's not much to see is that this thing is dropping, right? And I think we want to pay attention to this, like, 30 to 40 RSI level, which is getting kind of close. Um, I mean, it could even just bounce here, right? Like this right here, kind of respected the 618 here on the two-week before it ran up, right? So if we were to drop to the 618s, we are kind of slightly below the 618s picking up liquidity. But like I said, I do think... All coin, at least Dogecoin. I do think there's going to be a violent bounce coming soon, guys. So I'm still being bullish here. Um, but we might go down to like this 30, 40 RSI level, which we're getting kind of close, guys, before we go back up. So I would just be patient here, guys. There's massive support built up here. I do think it's going to bounce there and then go up. Uh, I think we just got to be patient. So if you look at Doge BTC, you know, most likely do. Bitcoin is going to run up, guys, as this thing this thing bottoms out. Um, 
That's kind of what it looks like right now. Um, we kind of have to pay attention to this top trend line right here, I think, like that. See when that breaks, right? Similar to the, these points right here. So I think we just have to be patient here, guys, and things will work out. Uh, we're probably looking for like a double cross up at this point on the two week for uh, for Doge over BTC. We're probably like right here, guys. I think Bitcoin is going to go vertical, and then Dogecoin should accumulate, guys, and then eventually run up. Bitcoin over Nasdaq. This looks pretty bullish, right? We're back testing the 50, which is like a hot spot for uh, a way for. So I still think that this is. Uh, a one two three four and we have our fifth wave run up like that it kind of has the right look we're at massive support right now that's still the count right there um i do think a big bounce is coming soon so just a quick update on my thoughts on the market guys bitcoin has only dropped 15 percent but unfortunately all coins are taking hard but i do think bitcoin dominance is topped out guys so i would just hold on um it sucks, but no one's gonna give you exact top and bottom targets for uh, for meme coins. It's literally impossible unless you're like a uh, unless you're a, the whale or the owner. Or you're manipulating the coin. Um, but yeah, Bitcoin over Nasdaq is getting to massive support as well. You can see on the support cluster here. It might drop a little bit more here, but ultimately, you know, we're getting to that 56.8 area. 50 is kind of where you wanted to go for a hotspot for a wave four if we think that this thing has like one more leg up at least that's you know that's what like i think right so just a quick update on my thoughts guys Let's see where bitcoin's at right now still hovering at this massive support area like 64.5k but like all that liquidity is pretty much flushed out guys it's so very likely the next move up is, is going to be us going up and when the volume finally comes right so everything looks still looks bullish guys i wouldn't panic here we've been here before uh, a lot of people are panicking right now. You're going to see all these like crazy uh, clickbait videos on YouTube. Just keep your head straight and stay patient. That's how we win in this market, guys. And stay away from leverage. All right, guys. Thank you for watching.